Hey, what's happened everybody? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this example, I'm talking about Gatsby JS and how to link both internal and external pages within your website. And with that, let's get started. All right, welcome back. Once again, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. This channel is all about helping you become a better designer online through code. Because in order to do a good design online, we have to learn how to program. And in this example, we're talking about links inside of Gatsby JS. If you're new to Gatsby, this is a great tutorial to follow. So I've got the Gatsby starter default library that I stripped down in my own design, and I also put in the React Bootstrap Framework. That's all I did. That's why it looks a little bit different than your typical starter library, but we have the Gatsby Spaceman here just to show it is still the same. So the first step is external links. So if I wanna to link to, let's say, apple.com, the great part about it is I can still use my classic A tag. I can say A, H-R-E-F, and say HTTPS, or HTTP if I can type properly, www typing is a problem all of a sudden apple.com let's go buy an iMac and if I save this and I check with my iTerm so far so good and if we double check hey let's go buy an iMac click on it and sure enough we can go buy an iMac so the external links are straightforward we use our classic a tag with href encircle the text we're gonna put in, and away we go. Now, internal links can be a little more complicated because they don't use the A tag. Sayonara, A-H-R-E-F, it is gone. In Gatsby, we link to internal pages. So for example, if I pull open my pages, I have page two, index, and an error 404 page. I wanna to link to page-2.js. So what I have to do is, I have to declare the word link. So at the very top, I'm gonna to type import, and in my curly brackets, I'm gonna say link. I usually put spaces in between just to give it some extra readability, and say from Gatsby. And now this link will work internal to pages. So what I'm gonna do is, down below where I have the Apple link before, I'm gonna say capital link. Note that the capital link is up here and the capital link is down here. I'm just gonna say link to equals and pages are all based upon the pages folder. So what I have to do is I have to say slash page dash two slash and then close it up. Forget the iMac, take me to page two. And inside of the link, don't forget to close it if your text editor does not do that. I'm gonna save it. It's gonna rebuild. I'm gonna head back to my local host. Forget the iMac, take me to page two. Click, hey, hi from the second page. And they've already built that go back to the home page on page two and we navigate inside of here. This will work inside of your navigation as well if you put it inside the components area of Gatsby JS. And this is how you link between pages internally in Gatsby. Awesome, we've taken a look at solving the problem of linking to external pages and internal pages. But what if we wanna to link to other media like a PDF on our website? That's not really a page, but is internal. So I have an example right here. I went to apple.com and I made a PDF, and this is how amazing it looks. If you're ever curious about how to make a PDF on Apple's website, there it is, the PDF right here. So how do I link to this PDF? Unfortunately, we can't use the link, and we can't just say link to, we can't just use the A tag. We first have to declare our media. So I'm gonna say import, Apple PDF from, and I'm in my pages folder, so I have to type two dots and go out of my pages folder. I have a PDF folder, and I know it's called apple.pdf. 
Now what I can do is I can apply the A href to the Apple PDF. So down below, I'm gonna put a P tag just so I space out my link and my A tag. I'm gonna say A href equals add the curly brackets and put in the Apple PDF. Show me the Apple PDF. And if I save that, now what happens is we can leverage the A tag. However, it's gonna to go to an internal document. You can also include MP3 files, waves, movies, whatever you want because they're not pages. So if I save this and I go back to Safari, show me the Apple PDF. Now when I click, there's the Apple PDF. So these are three ways you can link both internal pages, external pages, and documents and files. Ready to continue becoming a better web designer through code? Check out more of my videos through my channel, A Designer Who Codes. Thanks so much for watching.